know that to solve complex problems, we need to empower women. I'm actually an expert in telecommunication. Our project we address is sustainable development goals. It feels kind of simple and obvious, right? Get amazing women from across the world who are changing the world by leveraging technology on behalf of their communities. But you know what? It is anything but simple and obvious. It's actually completely transformational. Team Nigeria! Pitch day is uh, where every one of the country teams gets three minutes to explain a project who would be involved, who would benefit, why would you do it, how much will it cost, what is the what is the problem you're solving, what is the deliverable, what are the goals, uh, all of those basic things. It's a structure for getting people to think about what are you going to do when you go home with this new knowledge, with this new experience, with this new way of thinking. Thank you. Four years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes. Each country team gets to share their vision for an action plan that they've developed over the five weeks of their uh, mentorship experience. Looks like you need to raise some more money. Are you thinking of doing that through sponsorships? or? And they get to even uh, be judged on, uh, on a rubric about how well they understand the problems in their community, how viable or feasible are their solutions, and then how can they leverage their tech women community, their networks uh, to make that happen. It's a day where they get to share their, their dreams of, for a, a real solution for a problem that they face in their community and for the rest of the tech woman community to help uh, uh, support them in that vision. Imagine a world. We've been seeing tech women mentors and fellows like in private, online, uh, like several times a year. And we ask for help or for like advice from tech women mentors and they're always willing to help and to like, provide their support to us so my message is to cherish and value this community that you're in and uh, you can get a lot of power and energy and also get back to the community with tech women 33.1 percent of children under the age of five suffer malnutrition in our country and that's primarily because of a high rate of unemployment, and it's 23 percent average. And among women, it's up, up to 26, 26 point6 percent. And we're bringing a solution to that problem. It's so simple but effective. And it's our, our solution is to introduce local hatchery incubators to the provinces that are mostly suffering malnutrition. Team Zimbabwe has got a solution to ensure access to land resources to these girls in the rural area so that they can catch up and realize their dreams just like their urban counterparts. In my country today, six out of 10 people do not have access to safe drinking water. We all deserve to have water us, as us, as, for, for our livelihood. Our solution to this problem is to construct a gravity-fed water supply system for this community. The night where we were supposed to send three slides that explain the idea before we go and pitch it uh, was for me a magical night. It was a kind of my life purpose uh, manifesting in those three slides. So for me, that day, I knew that before I leave this life, I've got to launch this project and uh, just put all my energy, my passion, my expertise in it. And this is what is happening today. So um, what we were granted uh, an opportunity uh, to do w during the Tech Woman is to pitch an idea to a panel of venture capitalists and get feedback. And I made personally use of that opportunity. And this is where my uh, venture, ILAT, uh, saw the light. We started with uh, uh, a small grant, but this grant, thanks to the experience and the network, we were able to multiply it 100 times. Uh, and we are still ongoing. Uzbekistan is half, half area is rural and 
Many women live in abusive marriages. And only this month, seven women were murdered by their husbands. What if women in rural areas have online platform where they can easily understand their rights and protect themselves? Agahi aims to create awareness on climate change, deforestation, planting of native trees, and stopping wrongs on construction. In Algeria, if you are born out of wedlock, you have not the right to have a last name. No home, no family, no job, and no name. Our team is proposed to uh, build um, drink, uh, purified drinking stations at public schools, which will uh, increase access to safe drinking water, reduce plastic, uh, plastic pollution, also will help save um, uh, money for, for our families. And our mission is to make free, safe, and high quality drinking water accessible to every child in our country. Thank you very much. For me, being part of Tech Woman is participating and being inspired by the change, participating in that change, doing anything that I can do to help that. Let me tell you a story of a forgotten tribe in Kenya. I think spreading your net wider, seeing how much you can do in the world, uh, can you actually go forward on something that maybe your culture or your family or your company is telling you that you are you know, a relatively small person who shouldn't make so much noise. Thank you, Team Kenya. I hope Even if you start off small, you can make a big difference in the world. And what I'm asking for is I'm telling people I have great expectations of them and that I want them to change the world. The number of people with disabilities in Palestine exceeds 93,000. So uh, don't see in Tech Women just uh, a nice have six weeks where you spent in, uh, in the US, but this is the start of the next phase of your life. And I trust that you all have the qualities and uh, the passion and all what it needs to multiply the effect and just send the ripple effect. And you don't do it only for yourself, you do it for all women across the world. Women are half of the population of the world and you know exactly that we do not have access to the same benefits and it's time that this changes and you have a big role to play there. Tim Kyrgyzstan has come up with a solution, AIM Learn. To see how bold of a vision they're able to articulate and to see that dream through their eyes become a reality has been even more fulfilling. It's the boldness of vision but not only that it's it's giving it everything that you have to make it a reality at the end of the day all of us want a better life better health better education better livelihoods better um, you know financial uh, inclusion for everyone right and so we, we can work together for a, a better planet and better equity for the people of this planet uh, through Tech Woman. Thank you again Thank so you. much, yeah. Team Kyrgyzstan! And what I get out of it is an amazing experience, a life-changing experience, uh, a set of connections that has uh, given me a greater understanding of the world and allows me to do a very small part in making the world a better place to live.